What is going on guys? My name is Brian, you guys can call me Mr. Creations, and today is going to be kind of a serious commentary uh, topic, actually a very serious commentary topic, and I want you guys to listen to what I'm saying and take it to heart because it's very serious like I said. Now the gameplay you guys will figure out what that is, it's a nuclear, I forgot the score, but that's not really the focus on today's video, that's more about the commentary. So. About roughly a week ago, last Saturday, one of my childhood friends that I'd lived, you know, right next to his house, is right next to mine, and uh, grown up with him for the past 13 years, and he died in a car accident this past week. And it's something that hurts, it's hard to talk about, I can't even imagine how much his family's hurting right now, let alone, you know, his extended family and friends, and it's just a really rough thing to go through and unfortunately like I said this is kind of the part where I want you guys to focus and listen and understand is that he was driving in a car at about 3 a.m. in the morning and at the time of the accident he wasn't wearing his seatbelt and that's probably right there costed him his life and that's the unfortunate part that a lot of people don't understand is they think, oh, well, I don't have to wear a seatbelt because I'm in a car and it has a five-star crash test rating or whatever. It doesn't matter how safe your car is or how slowly you're driving or how fast you're driving. If you're not wearing your seatbelt, you're not being very smart about driving. I don't care if you're the world's best driver or the world's worst driver. You have to wear your seatbelt. And this is something that I thought the majority of people understood. I think uh, I think my friend did understand that, but he obviously for some reason chose not to, and it's it's sad. It's a very real thing. People obviously all around them deal with death, and it's something that you don't really think about until it actually happens. You take people for granted. You think, well, I want to hang out with him tonight because I know he'll be there tomorrow, and we can talk then and it turns out not to be the case like that and it's something that's really sad and unfortunate and I just again my prayers go out to the family I went to the funeral today and they seem to be holding up pretty well for what happened but I feel extremely horrible for his brother um, like I said we used to I mean I've known this guy uh, since I was five years old since we'd go to each other's yards jump on the trampoline you know, ride dirt bikes, shoot hoops, like everything, just hang out for the past over a decade now. And now that he's gone, I, it's shocking to me, really. I feel so horrible for his brother because they, they had the closest relationship, you know, brothers could have. And it's something that's so unfortunate, like I said, probably would have saved all this pain and agony for everybody if he had been wearing his seatbelt. And that, that's the point I'm trying to make, guys. There's so many accidents. Obviously, the leading death of teens is driving accidents, which is... It's not ironic, and a lot of people think it is, and it's not, because number one reason usually is either intoxicated by alcohol or drugs, or they're texting or on the phone doing that kind of thing while they're driving, and not wearing your seatbelt is another thing that can obviously get you killed among other things and it's a sad unfortunate part of life like I said but it's something that everybody's gonna have to move on and get through and it's tough man it's tough like I said my prayers go out to the family and uh, I just hope you guys take my words to heart and understand that if you do text and drive you're not being very smart man let alone you could die the amount of people you could kill around you for texting or driving or being under the influence or not wearing your seatbelt all these things that get teenagers killed nowadays it's, it's so sad that people somehow still haven't learned and done what they know they're supposed to do so I hope you guys took this commentary to heart I hope you understand how very real this kind of thing is and how often it happens it's a very sad unfortunate thing but I did want to talk about this um, like I said, I, I just need to get this out there, man. I need to talk about it, kind of get this stuff off of my chest and, and mull it over over the weekend. So I know it was probably more of a depressing commentary today. I do apologize about that, but I wanted to make a video for the day, and I figured I may as well get some information out there that people may not have known, and maybe they will drive safer now knowing some of this info. 
And uh, that that's all I can do, really. But anyways, nonetheless, like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to leave a like. I would appreciate it so much. And share this video to any of your friends that do drive recklessly or don't wear seatbelts or drive under the influence of drugs or alcohol. It's... It's such an unsafe thing that I know myself at, at 16 years old, I remember being a kid that thought he was invincible to everything and couldn't die. And it's just, it's not true. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys tomorrow.